Hi, I'm going to show you how to burn a CD um, just using Windows XP. Um, so what I've done is I put a blank CD in my drive and it's come up and it says do I want to open it up or um, burn an audio CD or something like that. So what I'm going to do is open it up. Okay. That's it there. So that is the blank CD. So all I have to do is put files into this area and then press write these files to CD. So I'll show you how to get some files. I'll just put them... You don't even have to actually put them in there. I'll show you what to do with it. Okay, so just say we just go and open, open up My Documents. Uh, we can just go to... We can just go to the start menu and then browse and just find the documents link and open that up. Okay, now all we have to do here is just say we just want to put this folder onto that blank CD that I've got there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to right click on it and it says send to down the bottom. Let's see if I can get to it. Send to. Okay, now then it tells me where I'm going to send it to. I'll show you that. Just wait one minute. So send to. Um, now where do I want to send it to? I want to send it to the CD drive. So I'm going to press on that. It's not going to burn it straight away, so but it'll just store it there for me. Okay. So that was a pretty big file, so that'll take a while. It's come up um, with cons confirmed stream loss. Um, that's just a nothing file. It doesn't mean anything to me, so I'm just going to say don't worry about it. Okay. And it's taking that over. Now I'll take some more simple files as well, and I'm going to do the same. Okay, so the same thing applies. All I have to do is right click on the file and um, then I just have to choose send to so I'll right click on it and press send to and the menu will come up and I'll say send to the CD drive and I'll press on that and it'll send it to the CD drive now I just keep sending stuff whatever I like I just go around and send it there um, find what I want so right click on it and press send to just do that so you can see it. There we go. Um, send to and then to the CD drive again. Okay, I'll press on that. Okay, so if I want to see um, what um, files that I have put on that CD drive, um, now I can go back to the window that I had open before. Okay and it'll show what I've put there. There there they are. But if I don't have that window, um, I can go down to the Start menu and I'm going to go to My Computer. Okay, so press on My Computer and we can go down here and it says the CD drive. See how it says it's got something in it? We're going to double click on that. Now that is the way to find it again if you can't find the um, CD drive. Okay, so these are the files. See how it's all faded? Um, these are the files that are going to go on the CD. Okay? Um, yeah, so that's all I have to do. Now I'll just go into the left column here and press on write these files to CD and it will do it. So I'll just I'll just um, check one more thing. Um, when you hold your um, mouse over you can see how big these files are too. So if you were going to put movies on there I'd say you'd probably only be able to put one or maybe two at the most. It depends if they were compressed or not. Uh, this file here is quite big, so what I'm going to do is check to make sure it's going to fit on the disk, and I'm going to right click on it and then press properties. It's actually just going to show me how big it is. 
so it's 139 megabytes um, or 145 megabytes on the disk now that's not bad uh, because a normal CD CDR disk can fit about 700 megabytes okay now this is a word document and that's an Excel and they if you mouse over see how it comes up with the size they're very small okay this one's 139 megabytes that's like not even a third of the CD um, we're not even filling up that but anyway we'll go over and we'll press on write these files to CD and then the CD writing wizard comes up okay now I'm fine with that name there and now I'm going to go down the bottom and press next and it's just gonna start to do it for me and basically it does it and then it finishes and I've done it I'll check and then I'll show you how to check um, the CD after that okay it's finished already um, that's because uh, there wasn't many files and um, it was very quick okay so all we have to do now is press finish okay and we're done so now we want to find out if it worked or not so we're going to go to my computer and we're going to go and find the CD see that's the name that I called it August 19th 2008 okay so now when you look at these icons on this disk they're not faded anymore they're full color icons um, you can double click on it just to make sure yep that everything's there double click yep that looks pretty good to me um, so everything worked um, I've just backed up some files onto a CD. Okay, thanks for listening.